The apes exposed something really interesting. They crowdsourced a way of rooting out corruption. Give me a better system. Give me a better system to do this than the one we have in place. Because the one we have in place is getting its butt kicked. Last January, when brokers shut off the buy button, there was an unexpected consequence. We got a peek behind the curtain of Wall Street, and it turns out naked short selling was just one piece of a completely fraudulent system engineered by the participants betting against retail investors. We all believed that brokers were a trusted intermediary. Then along came Robinhood with the idea of commission-free trading using something called payment for order flow. Now instead of our orders going to exchanges, they were being bought by wholesalers like Citadel who had just internalized the trade and supposedly purchased them from something called a dark pool? An alternative trading system built to prevent volatility from massive block trades was now being used to suppress price discovery from retail purchases. How fucking invincible do you have to feel to name the place where you conduct your least transparent business dealings dark pools? The vast majority of order flow can trade off of exchanges, which is problematic for a number of reasons, not just because of information disparities, but also because that price formation is not really reflective of what supply and demand is. When you place a market order in the US, a market order at a retail platform, well over 90% of those trades go straight to the dark market, to a wholesaler that bought that order flow rather than competing trade by trade. After three congressional hearings full of softball questions and the SEC handing out glorified wrist slaps, we needed proof that synthetic shares were being created. So at the annual shareholders meeting where one share gets one vote, if there were more votes than shares, surely that would expose the fraud. They said more votes than outstanding shares. Oh shit, that's huge. That's huge. <laughs> <laughs> if all of these synthetic shares actually try to vote, you're going to end up with more than 100% shares voting. Have, have you ever seen that before? Many times, many times, in many companies. Have you talked to regulators or legislators about that and, and, and how have they reacted? Uh, oh, they act, they act like it's a big issue, but have they done much about it? Not really. Turns out no one cared that there was irrefutable evidence of counterfeit shares. The next day, the stock plunged $100 and it continues its downward trend. We went toe to toe with financial behemoths and we lost. There's no conspiracy theory in here. Like it, it all just happened. They won. Oh, come on. Have you ever met a gamer? We don't give up, we level up. It was time to listen to the advice of the woman who literally wrote the book on naked shorting. Now, an individual can still ask to have their shares registered in their own name, right? So, you know, GameStop is, has a um, direct registration, a direct stock purchase program. After some fresh due diligence, we realized if everyone transferred their shares out of brokerages and registered them in their own name with GameStop using the official transfer agent computer share, not only would it prevent shares from being loaned out, but it could kick off the biggest game of musical chairs ever played. And the best part, the chairs were on sale. And the, these hedge funds are pulling their hair out because there's no panic selling. These people, you know, they may have bought at $4, sat through $400, went back to 40, went to 350, back down to 110, and they have not sold. All they've done is bought more. And there's no answer for that. There's no, it, it, you know, it, it is like art of war mastery by a bunch of idiots who should know better. And they're just, they're just like, oh yeah, I'll buy more. I don't care. My paycheck came in. I can afford two more shares. And you've got maybe 10 million people doing this who now own, you know, probably more than 100 million shares. So let's recap. Naked short selling is rampant with Wall Street's biggest players who just treat the fines as a cost of doing business. A business where they not only bet directly against us and cheat by suppressing the price, but they even skim our trades and make billions of dollars doing it. A business where when they start to lose, they're willing to take historically unprecedented steps to shut off our access to the market. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! Robinhood shutting off the buy button may have been the biggest betrayal, but they weren't alone. Just about every broker using the payment for order flow business model restricted trading due to a dictate from their clearinghouse overlords letting us all know that we were the product, not the customer. So we're taking our business elsewhere. We're using our own money on this trade, money we worked for. The people betting against us are doing so by leveraging your pension, your 401k, 
Securities that are supposed to be secure are being used to bet against the most passionate and stubborn group of traders in the history of the stock market. Right now, there's more registered shareholders of GameStop than Microsoft, Google, and Apple combined. Just 125,000 of us have direct registered almost 9 million shares, which is about 25% of the free float or 14% of the total float. Let's try and explain that with a metaphor. Imagine a story about an exclusive concert with only a thousand seats starts to spread online. Ticketmaster gets put in charge of sales and finds out the performer came down with COVID. Now they're absolutely positive this concert's getting canceled. And they don't have to issue refunds. Why would these greedy assholes stop at selling a thousand tickets when they can just pay a fine if they get caught selling more? What happens when it turns out the performer made a miraculous recovery and the concert's back on? What happens when hundreds of thousands of people realize their email with a QR code's a counterfeit? Well, they march on down to the venue and they convert that QR code into an actual ticket with a hologram and everything. Right now, a quarter of the general admission tickets and 14% of the total tickets have already been printed. There's literally millions of GameStop investors and a tiny fraction of them have already begun locking the float. If you're a GameStop investor and you have shares in a payment for order flow broker, this video is your warning. If you have shares in a legit broker, this is a plea to help us light the fuse. And if you're a spectator, this is your chance to board the rocket ship. I hope this explains what we're trying to accomplish and why it matters.